Good evening, gentlemen, <laughs> esteemed colleagues. <laughs> <laughs> this here is your host with the most, Greg Gonzalez. Your host with the least, Daniel Zephyrin. Your host. You, there's something in between. Yeah. Your, your host yeah. with the average. <laughs> your host with ha- about half the three quarters. Half the potato Beto bread. Sistos. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> running at half the potato bread he usually is running at. Uh, Sistos. Okay. Let's drop the act here. <laughs> this is Candy's Danny the Candy Review Hello. Podcast. You heard our names. You heard how much capability we all have. You heard how much potato bread we got this episode. <laughs> half. half. Okay. So I institu- uh, instituted <laughs> a new... I don't mean to institute my own horn, <laughs> but I instituted a new... Uh, method of mm. divvying out mm-hmm. the potato bread I give to you too. Because the second I give to you, give mm-hmm. potato bread to either of you, it's yep. like throwing stale <laughs> bread into a lake and then like pigeons, ducks, like a kraken comes out and eats everything. Your solution wasn't double the amount of potato yeah. bread? No, because if, if I double the amount of potato bread, then you just double your appetite. Yeah, let's find out. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm cut. Look, this is what I had to do to my cat. I cut your portion. I give you half now. And then after you play for 15 yeah. minutes, I'll give you the other half. I promise to gain <laughs> twice amount of pounds anyways, yeah. as a form of protest. What are you trying to say about my What's Unusually up? large. Cat. Yeah. Uh, What's the question? Sorry. Um, I mean, this isn't Ringo that we're talking no! about. Oh, don't bring our babies into this. <laughs> don't bring our chunky yeah. little babies into this. <laughs> so, this is the Candy Review Podcast, Woo! where each week Woo! we differ, differ, we differ, we dip a dab, we, we dip, dip a different dab every We dip a pickant candy. <laughs> we give a candy <laughs> of muffin? What did we do on this show? This is the worst Christmas carol I've ever heard. <laughs> not, a, not a listener was downloading. <laughs> <laughs> we pick a different candy. Yes. This is a good vocal warm-up. It is. Pick a different we candy. pick a different candy. We give its candy. We do some... Uh-huh. What, what do we do in this show? We give some candy news. Yeah. We give the candy history. We, we taste, taste the, candy. the candy. We talk the candy. We play a game. We play, we play a candy games. game. And that's... And you're happy, we're happy. Yeah, yeah. We're, if, if you're happy, we're happy. Yeah. Mm-hmm. If you're candy, we're candy. <laughs> yeah. We keep it sweet. <laughs> we keep it sweet and not so short anymore. Mm-mm. Depending on the candy. We don't keep it short, we keep it fun size. Oh, oh nah. we keep it medium is something in between most and least uh, like a bite and a half yeah we we give it a partially eaten full size <laughs> so uh this is our okay okay so bef- okay guys. I, I forget right. why did I forget? okay it hasn't been that long since we recorded uh, one of these. has it has it i don't know i feel like we recorded like at the end of two months ago was it hot or cold i don't remember i think it was oh, hot man. it was yeah. somewhere between most and least temperature okay <laughs> all right during climate change we only yeah. have one or the other but very rarely do we have in the middle it was between zero degrees and <laughs> infinity degrees when we were last recorded so i'm not really sure but let's do our top of the show oh. i don't know why i'm like so top I d- of the show <laughs> do you Gen- gentlemen, uh, top of the show to you, yeah, to or you? you, or, or do you? we all get it? It's somewhere between the beginning and the end of the show. <laughs> I don't know, middle of the show to me, <laughs> socket to me. <laughs> so, Halloween, as this comes out, was not well, it was a long time ago, it was about a month ago. Mm-hmm. But as of this recording, mm-hmm. Halloween was not too long ago. Sure. So, yeah. I got the opportunity on Halloween to have a non melted, huh. as good a condition as oh. ever. Reese's oh my god pumpkin oh right we're still on this we still we're still we're still trying to we got a, a candy text yeah. message in like a godly hour which might have been like 11 30 guys, guys it's actually good guys wake up <laughs> everybody uh, get, put on your devil horn again <laughs> halloween's not over i want to tell you something about the quality of reese's pumpkins that are out there there was time now <laughs> it was just the whole world had ended and it was just <laughs> me and a reese's pumpkin but my pumpkin glasses broke. <laughs> so I had one of these things. Uh-huh. And look, Reese's is a year-round event. So it's not oh, yeah. it, it oh, never yeah. it never ends. There's actually football-shaped Reese's out there now, but <laughs> I got to have a non-melted one and we have to issue an apology because we were wrong. Were uh, we wrong? 
<laughs> do we uh, have to do anything? Um, one of, if one of us goes down, all three of us oh, goes oh, down. I didn't, realize. We, didn't you? Didn't you look over your contract before you Everybody signed? Everybody, look at your wrists. Are we not handcuffed together? <laughs> yeah, I'd like to issue an apology to everyone who ate a pumpkin. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, <okay. laughs> oh my god. Uh, this is not drive by shooting. Yeah. That was a drive by shooting attack. <laughs> this is not what this apology. <laughs> Everybody's hearts were opened, and you shoved a dagger in there. A Reese's dagger, <laughs> a misshapen Reese's dagger. <laughs> it could have been a dagger or a surfboard. I don't really know what it was. <laughs> yeah, they they pass them out for OJ murder anniversary <laughs> yeah. season. It had a it had a smile and some eyes. But <laughs> I opened it up, and they weren't there. Yeah. <laughs> It had OJ's signature <laughs> smile on each dagger. <laughs> Didn't do it. <laughs> or did I? Or did I? If the chocolate don't melt. <laughs> um, Eat some guilt. Is that good? Oh, nice. It is good, but we're not ready for that yet. So pocket that. Okay. Uh, much like uh, OJ did with, <laughs> with some, uh, with some of the evidence. gloves. A fluid cup of uh, gloves. A hat, I don't know. <laughs> so, okay, they're not as good as the mini cup, the okay. miniature one, sure. except, but they're way better than our melted ones led us to believe. Okay. The, oh, okay. the texture is still, it's kind of softer mm-hmm. than the other ones, maybe a little softer than I'd like, but it is nowhere near as bad as the ones we had. So okay. we need to apologize. Would, after that experience, would you say the, the ghost was still better? After eating after, a good after one? After eating a good Oh, no, because it was good. <laughs> How's that for an OJ dagger? Wow. If, if the insult don't fit. No. no, yeah, it's definitely better than that ghost all right, was. All right. uh, which is what OJ made. But. <laughs> he was, uh, oh, he's, was good. He's innocent. By yeah, the way. Just by, that by, out there. Wait a minute. What are we talking about? Why are we putting down OJ? We had him on the show once. No, time. that's right. Oh, You're yeah. absolutely right. He brought us the news right before Carl Tart showed up. That's absolutely. Yeah. I forgot about talking. We shouldn't put down one no. of our favorite actors. Can't put yeah. down a guest. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, one of our favorite actors. Yeah, favorite actors and Ca- athletes. Oh, what would I? You're telling me I can't watch Capricorn One anymore? <laughs> <laughs> Naked Gun, Greg. Yeah. Who am I without my naked gun references? <laughs> so I, I, uh, we were wrong. We were wrong. No, we, were wrong. We, we were wrong. We were wrong. Some Daniel gets to decide we all were three wrong. of us were wrong. <laughs> we were all bad people. We've all been yeah. naughty boys. We've all made mistakes and we're yeah. all begging for forgiveness. Yeah. Yeah. All, I mean, not me, these two. <laughs> <laughs> I'll take their forgiveness, their collateral forgiveness. <laughs> Well, explains why we got half potato bread today. Yeah. (laughs) Because you've been a bad boy. (laughs) And that also explains why I made you bend over and I tickled you with a feather. You don't like my candy, then you don't get potato bread. (laughs) (laughs) You don't like my candy, then you get tickled. (laughs) Says OJ. So, yeah. So that's the top of the show. We were wrong. We were were, were wrong. We were were wrong. I'll I'll give a second chance to it next Halloween. Next Halloween, maybe there will be Reese's. I don't know. What's going to be scary next year? (laughs) What's scarier than a pumpkin? Uh, What's a Reese's... uh, uh, Oh my God. What did they use in Halloween when they wanted to... um... Reese's zombie. Oh, this this review came back from the dead, much like a zombie. <laughs> I don't know what Greg's trying to think of. A Reese's in ho- in the, Jamie Lee Curtis? Is that what you're John Carpenter's of? Halloween, it was out of season when they were filming it, so they didn't have pumpkins, so they had to spray paint oh, a like different... A go- oh. like, a, like a different type, a different gourd. A Reese's squash? Yeah, a different gourd. Yeah, a it squash, was a squash. A zucchini. Yeah. <laughs> it's a Reese's zucchini. <laughs> <laughs> That's they should do that for, yeah. for Thanksgiving for Harvest Fest, yeah, yeah, Har- for Harvest Fest, for yeah. Harvest for the new Harvest Moon game that comes. For out. all those dorks who don't celebrate yeah. Halloween, <laughs> yeah, for all those Puritans who don't <laughs> celebrate Halloween. Okay, so now we're moving on to a segment where nobody has to make any apologies. No, nope. Called Ken. This just in: Reese's are good. <laughs> Now, over to you, Daniel. <laughs> wow. Oh, wait. Wow. Well, I'm getting a special bulletin as well. <laughs> Beto and Greg are profoundly sorry. <laughs> they are so sorry for what they've... And this applies to anything they've said about any Reese's ever. Oh, my God. This and, just in. Uh, Reese's zucchinis coming soon. <laughs> I can't wait to see what they actually look like. <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh, man. Mom, the new Reese's zucchinis are out. <laughs> Can we go to Target? This has been a paid advertisement by the Reese's company. (laughs) I hear they have dimples. It does on the package. Oh, wait, Mom. Who's that man driving by? OJ Simpson. There's a Bronco in the driveway. Mom. (laughs) Mom, uh, why did we move on to Bundy Drive? Mom. Mom. Oh, Mom. What's the name of the guy? (laughs) What's the name of the guy from Naked Uh. Gun? Oh yeah, what is the name of Leslie, Leslie Nielsen? 
Are we talking about not the character? Him or uh, a can- not George Kennedy, the other one. Who else is in the naked gun? I don't know. Um, <laughs> Priscilla Presley. <laughs> is she really? Yeah. Oh, that's weird. No, it's not. <laughs> that's pretty weird. This is not. Well, look. Why weird? Okay, we're, this isn't Priscilla Presley hour. We're here to talk about Cam- we're here to talk about OJ Simpson and Candy <laughs> News. That's what we're here to talk about. So this one's called, as you know, all my Candy <gasps> News is yes. titled. This one's called. <laughs> Even I recognize this one's a bit of a stretch. <gasps> oh no, it's a stretch. <laughs> Jelly Belly Sellies Fellies. <laughs> I like that one. That's good, dude. Yeah, yeah. I thought I thought it could go either way. Is Fellies for fellows or felons? Oh, we no, are. Well, we are talking about OJ Simpson a lot. Oh, you're right. innocent. <laughs> innocent, by the way. <laughs> oh, okay. So, uh, uh, wrongly accused. <laughs> depending on how you feel about the OJ verdict, yeah. it, it could mean fellas or felons. Um, so, big news in Beto's neck of Candyland. Oh, Uh-oh. as our old pals, Jelly Belly, woo, have. Woo, woo. Be- let me. Am I, hey, this just in. Uh oh. Jelly <laughs> Belly. <laughs> have been sold to our old pals, Ferrara Candy, Whoa. for an undisclosed, undisclosed amount. Ferrara are the Chicago-based makers of Sweet Tarts, Fun Dip, Pixie Sticks, tro- tro- Trolley, Trolley La La La, uh-huh. Trolley, oh, right. Laffy Taffy, Nerds, Runts, Lemonheads, and of course, Brax Brox. Brax Brox. So Ferrero Rocher okay. candy corn okay. is coming no, 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 out. No, He's going to get into it. But don't oh get my confused. God. This mega deal is expected to close any day now. Ferrara is not Ferrero. Not Ferrero Rocher. Oh. Like you are so stupidly thinking, but Ferrera is owned by Ferrero. <laughs> oh, right. Oh, oh I, how foolish of me. Oh, yeah. You only think in Monopoly terms, <laughs> don't you? Is is the O, is the A a subsidiary of the O? <laughs> <laughs> well, one is the mom and one is the dad because one's feminine. And they had a little baby jelly belly <laughs> that grew into OJ Simpson. <laughs> What's this taste? I can't narrow it down. You're probably going to get into murder. it. <laughs> <laughs> but does this mean the, the Jelly Belly Corporation's gone? Yeah. Are they going to be liquidated? They are. Yeah, well, I mean, if you tried liquidating a Jelly Belly, it's <laughs> no. not so easy. We don't know. The, it's just an oligopoly. This candy oligopoly. Only time's going to tell what this means exactly. And there's oh, still going to be Jelly Belly. It's yeah. not going to be like Ferrara Barraras. Like it's, <laughs> it's still going to be Jelly Bellies. I want them to be now. But yeah, <laughs> after you put it like that. Jeez. Well, those sound delicious. Who wouldn't want that? Yeah. What this could mean, only time will tell because now they do have new resources yeah. that could in the Jelly Belly line of innovation. Who knows what that means? But my guess, layoffs. 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 My favorite candy. Yeah. <laughs> they they have Jelly Belly belly flops and they have now Jelly Belly layoffs. <laughs> <laughs> it's a Canopoly monopoly. <laughs> <laughs> it's, a, it's candy on monopoly. <laughs> so yeah, we I don't know. Uh, they're still going to be Jelly Belly. Yeah. They're just owned by a different company now. What that means for quality, I can't imagine they would mess with it because like... I hope not. Why mess yeah. with mm-hmm. success? Yeah. yeah. We're probably going to see a lot more like cross-branded yeah. Jelly Belly flavors now. Hey, let me go down the list. You wouldn't want to see a Laffy Taffy Jelly Belly? I know I would. <laughs> My favorite. <laughs> they were going to say you wouldn't. Oh, it took me aback that you actually wanted that. Yeah. I mean, Pixie State for Nerds. Oh, runs, yeah. Nerd jelly jelly bellies, bellies. Are you kidding me? Day. And all the day. Ferrero Rocher flavored Jelly <laughs> Bellies? Ooh. Ooh. But yeah, for now, that is just another edition of... Candy news. This just in. Daniel apologizes to Greg and Beto. Oh, <laughs> no. Finally, after all these years of waiting for one. This also in. Greg and Beto accept. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> I knew I shouldn't have sold my AI likeness to Warner Brothers. Now they're give, making me give apologies left and right. Everybody likes me now. I promise to give you double the potato bread next time. <laughs> Daniel, that's so generous of you. <laughs> As I'm like arm in arm with Marlon Brando. <laughs> <laughs> you can ha- you can have uh, that's not Marlon Brando. I was going to say you can have all the potato bread you want, partner. No, that's <laughs> no. Nope, you sure. Okay. I'm going to make you some potato bread that uh, tastes <laughs> like an orange. <laughs> that's my that's my Alpacino. Oh, that's pretty good. And it's got oh, a no! great impression. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> They're making heat too. That that is not candy news, but they are making oh, heat too. Boy, she's got uh, a greater ass. <laughs> are they actually making heat too? They're making heat too. Yeah, this is what I've heard. Wow, yeah. it's actually like heat zero because yeah. it's like a prequel or something. Oh, really? That's what I. Oh, so none of the cast. It's called cold. Yeah, it's gonna. Lame. I think Adam. Well, it doesn't. Hey, let, let's take a step back. I said, is it gonna be called cold? 
That's oh, funny. That's I didn't really hear that. funny. Yeah, that's that good. was pretty funny. That's really Woo! thanks AI Daniel <laughs> <laughs> for saying funny things. You got it. Uh, Could have been a contender. <laughs> <laughs> hey Daniel, that was a great joke. Yes, <laughs> a great big joke. That's all I've wanted to hear, <laughs> and I don't apologize. <laughs> okay, so now oh let's God. get into the meat of mm. the episode. Is there meat in this candy? Yeah, this is mostly meat. <laughs> so last year we did your precious candied canes mm-hmm. for our Christmas. We walked around on a little, with our little candy canes oh, to support. Man. We pretended we were gnomes and <laughs> we walked with candy canes. Yeah. They make freaking Twinkie candy canes now. Whoa, really? really? Twinkie flavored candy canes. Yeah. Wow, wow so I, I can make. hate it even more. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the innovation seems to know no bounds. I know. Of, uh, aren't, no, I, was, I thought they were owned by Ferrari. Rara, one of the brands of like Spangler Candy or something. Cane? Yeah, I'm not sure. Maybe, Maybe not. Who knows? I mean, everything's going to be owned by them now. So. Yeah. So we got to, we gave your your religion all of its airtime last year, <laughs> yeah. but now it's time to get a little alternative. Yeah. Oh, but yeah, <laughs> Kwanzaa. <laughs> yeah, Let's my do favorite it. Kwanzaa candy. <laughs> <laughs> so you're telling me there's a besides Christmas and Kwanzaa, there's something else. There's like a there's third a, one. There is a there is another. What? Wow. Yeah. Is there even enough days in December to yeah. celebrate everything? <laughs> Aren't we all partied out after Kwanzaa? <laughs> yeah, there there is a, there is a third a third celebration that goes on. Secret option. Secret it's- option. The secret menu. Yeah. <laughs> we're about to play this on expert mode. <laughs> we're, we're playing December on expert. We're putting mode. a cheat code, and we're about to get a, a different look at everything. Get ready to put in Wampa Stampa on this one. <laughs> put Hanukkah Wanaka because now for this episode we're talking about Hanukkah. Gelt. Yay! The official candy of Hanukkah. <laughs> uh, this just in. <laughs> Before we get started, because I, mm-hmm. both of you, I mm-hmm. think both of you, when I texted you, we're doing Hanukkah Gelt by Hanukkah Gelt. <laughs> you both uh, sent me a slew of anti-Semitic texts. But, <laughs> yeah. um, it was questionably anti-Semitic. It was yeah. like, is this offensive or um, or am I just asking a lot of weird questions? Mm-hmm. You sent me a link to that documentary that that basketball player was, <laughs> was, uh, was telling people to watch. But y- you both of you were like, oh, the chocolate coin. Or first, I think you both were like, what? Yeah. yeah. I had no idea what that was. Yeah. Uh, Never heard of Gelt. You brought up menorah, right? You all bought menorahs? Oh, yeah. Chocolate it's in the one? car. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You asked for a menorah. It's in my Hanukkah <laughs> car. Um, <laughs> Straight down Hanukkah lane. <laughs> <laughs> Here comes Hanukkah. Here comes Hanukkah. But yeah, both of you didn't know what Gelt meant. No. And no. then both of you said, oh, Still the chocolate don't. coins. Well, you're about to know. But <laughs> I thought it was a fish. Um, <laughs> oh, oh, yeah. The Gelt filter fish? Yeah. That no. would be... That would wow. be pretty fun, to, like a turducken almost. Oh, yeah. Let's try Not that. Not a turducken, but wow. like a... little chocolate fish? Yeah, a little chocolate fish. Well, you showed me a picture of what gelt was, and it was just like, I've had chocolate coins before. Yeah, but not like this. It's different. It's different. I know you've had cream soda, but have you had Dr. Brown's cream <laughs> soda? Ooh. But uh, gefilte fish looks anything but like a fish, uh, just to put a pin in that. But <laughs> okay, it you. still sounds good, a gelt filter fish. But, um, <laughs> I mean, yeah, you've had chocolate coins. I've had yeah. chocolate coins had, before. Yeah. This yeah. is another one, like, I think I even say, like, this is, like, candy canes are to Christmas, candy yeah. corn is to uh, anti-Christmas, <laughs> and Hanukkah gelt is to Hanukkah. It's not oh, a great candy. Okay. It's just the candy it's of It's the, the candy holiday. of it, yeah. But it also, much like those, I mean, except candy corn. Yeah. Sorry, Greg. Uh, sorry to discount your religion, Greg. Uh, oh, wait, no, you did candy canes also. So. Yeah. Yeah, he's, you're back I'm, on. I'm pretty festive. What do they have for atheists like you? Um, <laughs> for God haters <peeps>. like you? <laughs> <laughs> because we consume the body of Christ. Yeah. So, you know, let's not get our hopes too high on this. Sure, 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 sure. But let's get into the history oh, I'm of ready. Hanukkah Gelt. Okay. Strap in, Ooh, fellies. I feel like <laughs> you're about to be like, it's the fourth century. Yeah, we're going back, uh, way you back. You wish it was the fourth century. Oh my God. I'm taking you on a Gelt trip. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> so, so here we are, one year after you forced me to eat your holidays okay candy. Can't believe now you ate it. I get I to do the same. That means he converted. By There's the way, pork in that. Yeah. <laughs> oh no! But this one has Christian blood in it. Can you not eat that? I can. Uh, yeah, the atheist, yeah. the peep eater. If you know what I mean. Oh yeah, it's a Eucharist. It's a candy. Eat it, Daniel. <laughs> <laughs> and drink this wine. Yeah, drink this candied wine. Yeah. So Hanukkah gelt, or as you both uh, refer to it, chocolate coins, chocolate yeah. coins, wrapped in usually gold foil and usually in a little mesh bag. Yeah. yeah. So that's the the bag is is 
key. Oh, really? Key. You eat the bag. <laughs> um, so if it's a silver coin, Uh-oh. for some reason... Silver no. coins. Silver coins. Silver coins. They make silver ones? They do make silver ones, but for that to work for me, it would have to be in a blue bag for the uh, for like the white and blue because otherwise oh. then it's just a chocolate coin sure. like what makes it Hanukkah gelt really is the gold foil it also has a menorah on it mm-hmm. so uh, on both sides that's why your hands are burning oh uh, mine's got a Kennedy on it was Kennedy Jewish oh yeah I forgot okay we'll talk about it okay. but yes Kennedy was our <laughs> greatest president ours meaning the Jewish people <laughs> <laughs> was the first Catholic president Jewish yeah that was <laughs> that was his even darker secret <laughs> he's Catholic I won't vote for him well actually he's Jewish <laughs> And then just silence for four years. <laughs> Democracy's over. <laughs> so in the tradition of candy canes on Christmas, like I said, this yeah. is this is iconography. It's the iconography. Okay. And don't icons taste great? <laughs> it's, a, it's also common to use Hanukkah gelt to gamble with when you play dreidel. Uh, oh, I didn't know that. Okay. Yeah. So I have don't you, know how to play that game. I was considering making dreidel our game for. Oh, yeah. But there's no fun way for a listener to be like, <laughs> you just hear like. It's tension. You've never seen a Hitchcock movie before? Yeah. It's yeah. just tension. Well, it's like they're listening to the end of Inception. <laughs> <laughs> Is it going to land on Gimmel? <laughs> um, so yeah, you would bet like, so for, for when you play dreidel, like the different sides, depending yeah. on you either get everything in the pot, you lose everything or you give half mm. or you take half. Cool. So you would gamble with these babies and right. I would clean up. <laughs> and if oh people God. didn't pay up, knife in the nose. Oh <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's what Hanukkah's all about. <laughs> so where does this... Did you get your Hanukkah knife this year? <laughs> <laughs> no, I got my OJ knife. Though. Coincidentally, it comes out around Hanukkah. <laughs> um, so where does this come from? This is another tradition, a lot like candy canes, where the exact origins are kind of hard to place. Sure. And there's several interpretations of why we do this to ourselves, like you people do. Mm. One explanation stems from the historic events that the holiday of Hanukkah is actually about, which is a group of Jews called the Maccabees who fought off the forces of the Seleucid king Antiochus IV. Whoa. Boom. 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 He sucks. Where Boom. was he from? I was reading two different things. They're like this Syrian king, and then another place was like this Greek king. Mm. It was an empire that stretched over Syria right. and Greece. Okay. So it was that whole, it was like Babylon before Babylon. All right. I don't know the timelines, but basically, all of those empires that I'm not sure where they took place yeah. is yeah. that place. All like right. Ottoman, Byzantine, Babylonian, Seleucid. Like it was all kind of the same. <laughs> okay. It's all Greek to me. <laughs> oh! Uh, it's all Syrian to me. Okay, let's see how far I can take this. Okay, that's how far I can take this. So, okay, so you joked about the fourth century. This took place between 167 and 160 BCE. BCE? Oh, What's gross. the C stand for? Candy? Before, before <laughs> candy... Eaten. <laughs> <laughs> the Jewish calendar goes by when we ate the first Hanukkah gelt, <laughs> and then after we ate the first Hanukkah gelt. The man at the liquor store said it's not worth anything, but it tastes really good. <laughs> yeah. He bites it. And it ooh. <laughs> oh. So they were able to reclaim the temple in Jerusalem. So they kicked out the Party. people from Jeru- the Seleucids from Jerusalem. They I've re- seen 300. I know. They kicked people. <laughs> I got it. Got it. This got it, got is it, got it. Jerusalem. <laughs> so they retook the temple and to rededicate it, they lit a menorah, but they only had enough oil for one day, but you're not rededicating anything in just one day, believe me. <laughs> <laughs> but by some miracle, it lasted for eight days, which is why on Hanukkah, you light a Hanukkah each night for the eight nights of Hanukkah. Okay. So that's what Hanukkah is all about. So for those keeping score, a menorah kind of just means a lamp and okay. is usually the seven armed ones that you all see right. on like the Pirates of the Caribbean ride. And you're like, why'd they steal this from all these Jewish people? <laughs> so a menorah is usually a seven armed one. Okay. One for each day of the week. So the eight armed ones that you use on Hanukkah are technically Hanukkiahs, but people just say menorahs. Okay. So mm. that's enough. Yeah. So next time, next time don't embarrass yourself in front of your rabbi. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> don't call it a Hanukkah when it was actually a menorah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> If you got eight arms instead of seven <laughs> arms, you might be a Hanukkah. <laughs> if you eat chocolate coins and a bunch of fried dough, you might be a Hanukkah. So Ooh, where fried dough sounds really good right now too. Yeah, it does. So where do the coins come into this story? Mm-hmm. The first Jewish coins were minted in 140, and they weren't mint flavored in 142 BCE. And to commemorate, so this was a little bit after the this whole battle, to commemorate their freedom, they put a menorah on the coins to commemorate this event, which is why most Hanukkah gelt has a menorah on them. Okay. So Actual money currency coins. Yeah, the, no, 
we come from a land of gumdrops <laughs> and we pay each other in chocolate. <laughs> milk and honey? <laughs> what? Milk and honey. Yeah. 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 <laughs> milk and honey and chocolate and gumdrops. And corn syrup. <laughs> and there's like a little bit yeah. of like... Red dye number 40. <laughs> we come from the land of brominated oil and red dye 40. That's where Moses was leading us to. <laughs> I swear it's just around the corner. <laughs> I swear. I swear. I swear this target's going to have it. <laughs> um, so this is one theory that it's a tribute to those coins, which symbolized a new beginning for Judaism. Okay. okay. Another explanation comes from the 1700s in Europe when rabbis would travel around to poor little villages mm. to teach the Jewish people Torah in these villages. So these people would try to pay the rabbis, but they refused mm. to take any money. However, the Hebrew word for education is hinuk, which sounds similar to Hanukkah. Okay. And we Jewish people love things that sound like other things. <laughs> so the, I've heard the, the comedy of Woody Allen before. Yes, you're right. You've heard the title to my candy news, right? <laughs> because that's from the Torah. <laughs> Jelly belly, fellas, selly fellies. So the holiday, because of this connection, like that's what Kabbalah is kind of all about. It's sure. just like, this number kind of looks like this letter. That must mean God's in this mountain. Like, it's just weird connections. Sure. I've, go ahead. I've listened to Madonna. Is that what you were yeah, going to yeah. say? I've, I've looked at Madonna's wrist. I forgot what I was going to say. <laughs> Something about Highlights Magazine look and find. Something like that. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's the tour also. Yeah. So the holiday started being associated with learning because these two words sounded oh, okay. together. Okay. So it became acceptable during Hanukkah for these traveling rabbis to accept tips to sort of mm. honor oh, all right. education. So these people would give them money, or as it's pronounced in Yiddish, the language of Eastern European Jews, gelt. Okay. So oh. that's where the Hanukkah gelt came from. So this is another explanation. But then how did this switch to being something you give to your rabbi, who definitely won't be mad at us for eating this? Mm -hmm. Pretty sure. To give Call it him. To <laughs> Call him right now. I want to make sure. He'll be mad at the ones that you have that have JFK on them. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, it's, uh, it's RFK. Um, it's Robert Kennedy. <laughs> oh, no. Well, the line has Bernie Sanders. On it. Uh, I'm trying to think of one other Jewish potential Jewish president, and I can't. One theory is that parents would give their monies, give their monies, would give their kids are you, money. Uh, are you Mr. Krabs? You got to tell me you're Mr. Krabs. I, I, Jewish parents would give their kids money. <laughs> so one theory is that parents would give their kids money to get them to actually sit down and study Torah like my parents would do to me to get me to go to the dentist. <laughs> and apparently in some places, kids would even go door to door trick or treating during mm. Hanukkah, but just for coins, for okay. literal money. But the thought behind giving kids money that they're just going to spend on something stupid like chocolate money was to use this opportunity to teach them during the holiday mm. of learning, mm -hmm. they wanted to teach them the concept of sadaka or charity. So okay. in Judaism, you're supposed to give part of your money to people less fortunate than you. So this was intended to be a way to hammer that into kids' heads at a young age and encourage them to donate part of the money they get always to charity. Okay. So that was the idea, especially because during Hanukkah, people would have to beg to get the money to buy candles to fulfill their religious obligations uh. for the holiday. So this was a way to teach your kids and also help poor people out okay. so that they could be Jewish as hell. <laughs> <laughs> so the moral being that money isn't meant to be gathered just to have, it's meant to be used to do good. Right. So that's another theory. But now why did they become chocolate? Because at a certain point, why just give kids money? They're probably not going to do what you want. Mm, yeah. Yeah, They're yeah, just yeah. going to keep it and buy goat milk. I don't know, whatever <laughs> you were buying in the shtetls of Eastern Europe in the 1700s. Quality dirt. Yeah. yeah. Oh, this this goat milk is shaped like a pumpkin. <laughs> Mom. It's not as good as the regular one. <laughs> yeah. It's not as good as the regular The regular this goat, goat milk. milk's a little melty. <laughs> it's supposed to have a goat's face on it. It's just like a blur, though. It's like smud. Why is this goat milk shaped like a bloody glove? <laughs> It'll make sense in 200 years. It's shaped like a bronco. <laughs> <laughs> Not that kind. Uh, so they're mo they're most likely going to do something stupid with it. So in the Netherlands, people mm. would give little chocolate coins called geld for St. Nicholas Day on December Ooh. 6th. Okay. So this might have been the inspiration for just doing that instead. Okay. You know, the, if the Dutch people give chocolate, why don't we just give chocolate? That was the actual conversation verbatim. Yeah. The Dutch people. Know. What Two rabbis walked into a bar and, <laughs> they, and then they said this. <laughs> so this has Christmas influence. It does. A lot of Hanukkah... Well, you'll hear a lot of Hanukkah as mm -hmm. we now celebrate it is pretty much just Christmas. Like it's all of the commercialism that yeah. Christmas sucked up from... Who knows where? Rockefeller. I don't know. <laughs> like Jewish people were then were like, well, I don't want to be left out. Let's do, let's do let's gifts. Let's do something too. Let's do something fun also yeah. rather yeah. than like candles. It's like eight days of something fun. <laughs> yeah. Let, oh, we could do better. Yeah. <laughs> 
I'm tired of just learning. Yeah. <laughs> I'm tired of just paying my rabbi every, <laughs> for eight I days. I came all the way over here. So as more Jewish people came to America, like I was saying, the commercial Christmas tradition started yeah. seeping into Hanukkah and that made like gift giving come mm, into Hanukkah mm. and we give little chocolates. You get stuff in a stocking. Guess what? We get no stuff way. in a little mesh bag. Wow. To meet this new demand, Lofts Candies in New York City in the 1920s became the first to make chocolate gelts in the United States, and they were seemingly the first to wrap them in foil and put them in these little mesh bags, oh. which are meant to look like little money pouches. Oh, okay. Nice. That's why they come in the little mesh bags. I always think about these getting stuck in my teeth and can't get them out. I don't know why that is. I think it's a weird psychological thing about mesh. You eat the bag? <laughs> no, but it might end up. Anything on this table might end up in my mouth. Yeah, <laughs> that's potato true. bread. Anything. <laughs> that's true. Your teeth are sticking out of you, like yeah. in every direction. They could get caught on anything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> You're like a baleen whale. So the true. You say so. So the true origin. <laughs> <laughs> I learned about a baleen whale. I have to give you some of my guilt now. Where's <laughs> yeah, my tip? Where's my tip? I taught you something. <laughs> so the true origin of these candies lies somewhere in a mix of all these things. Mm -hmm. But now let's light this menorah and eat some Jewish candy. Ooh. Oh, right. So we have a f Greg forgot to get Hanukkah gal. No, he didn't. He has a bag. Yeah, a bag. he Thank got. You guys. He has a bag given so. I think we just generously. learned about charity. Yeah, we learned about charity and like giving uh -huh. coins to yeah. pe on people less fortunate. Forgiveness. But I yeah. had I had two bags and I had to give you one whole bag. I should be giving you like a half of one oh, bag. So, so maybe like full potato bread and half a bag of gal <laughs> should no. maybe the way it. I think we out. need to give our guilt back to Daniel so that he can learn a lesson here. <laughs> you know what? I will learn a lesson. Give me, give me all your chocolate. I've learned my lesson. This is a robbery. Give me all your guilt. <laughs> yeah, I've learned my lesson, and this lesson was a YouTube tutorial on how to mug people. <laughs> mug my friends. Yeah. So we have three different kinds of Hanukkah guilt. So mine have the actual menorah on mm -hmm, them, okay. yeah. but the other ones available. We were talking about this before we started recording, but... It is well within our expectations to find Hanukkah gelt in stores right now. Yeah. And this time of year that we're recording, there's Christmas candy everywhere. Mm -hmm. There's tons of Kwanzaa candy. Oh, yeah. yeah. It was so hard finding any Hanukkah gelt anywhere. So the ones that both of you have just have U.S. president. It's just mm -hmm. American currency and chocolate form. Yeah, they, this yep. one's even called premium milk chocolate coins. I thought I said something about American, but I think mm. I read it. Oh, but his does. Mine, mine is Fort Knox milk chocolate Ooh, coins. Whoa. And I have little uh, quarters and I have Kennedy half dollars. Yeah. Does it have Kennedy on them? It's got Kennedy and... You're kidding uh, me. You're Kennedy. <laughs> Good old George Washington yeah. on the John quarters. F. Kidding me? John, yeah, John F. Kidding me? John F. Kidding me? So, yeah, mine are about half half dollar size, half quarter size. Mine are, mine are half yeah. dollar size. So open your bags up, because right, part, of the, fun of, rip my sack part of the fun of Hanukkah Gelt is the opening process. Try to get the sound in there. Yeah. This is me ripping uh, fishnet stockings. <laughs> this is Greg uh, when he's watched a full night of Rocky Horror Picture Show. <laughs> I don't know if that translated. No. What about you? Do it. Do yours into the microphone. Well, there it is. Oh, oh wow. yeah. Rip that sack, baby. Oh, no. Wait, that was just me flexing. Oh, oh, yeah. Sorry. Okay, I'll stop flexing. Uh, that's me, um, <laughs> Macho Man Randy Savage style, pulling my shirt apart. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so since we all have different kinds, let's yeah. all share our guilt, everybody. Oh, yeah. So I'm going to give you... Oh, I'm just going to stand up. There's no way that this coin Heads flipped. Heads or tails, okay. Daniel. Uh, and then let's I'll stand see. up. I want to see the tail of John F. Kennedy because I know he's a lizard person. It's tails. I'm coming to you. <laughs> All right. <laughs> okay. So give me two of your coins. I'll give you two of mine. <laughs> That's a fair exchange between menorahs and John F. Kennedy. This is a dollar fifty. I'm giving you. All right. This is. <laughs> oh, this is a Lyndon B. Johnson one, and I got Lee Harvey Oswald. I got Jack Ruby. Let me check the exchange rates today. <laughs> All right. Here's two of mine. Oh, the that's umbrella, a lot. You can man. Be a lot of them. I've got the babushka lady. Here, Greg, I'm going to give you two of mine and take two of yours. Okay. Now, do we owe you like a commission fee for bringing yeah, these coins to each other? Yeah. Okay. So, yeah, yours are... I gotta like, say, yeah, mine look the best. Yeah. yeah. Oh, I don't know about wow. that. Yours are very shiny. Yours are the most golden, that's for sure. They're nice and gold. And look at that 
design, dude. Mine's the more design accurate because nice. his head's all messed wow. up. Yeah, yeah. Kennedy's head's all Greg messed up. Greg is one that I found in like the middle of the crosswalk <laughs> and a bunch of cars had driven over it. <laughs> oh yeah, yours are shiny. Like wow. actually this looks like pure gold. I want mine back. <laughs> yeah. No, it's too late. <laughs> Have you seen Treasure of Sierra Madre? You can't get these back. <laughs> <laughs> There's gold in them, their coins. <laughs> I, I learned a lesson today. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, mine are, mine are the least, because mine are Target brand. They're just called Hanukkah Gelt. Don't say They're, Target around John F. Kennedy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, try to keep them on separate sides of the <laughs> book depository. But this, mine are like the least effort. Like it has the menorah, which you got to have, but yeah. there's no yeah, like, because yours has like the piping around the edges. Yeah. It, it's got oh, like the yeah. detailing. Mine, why does it just say from 1993? Yeah, mine are just, you know, Target was like, eh, I guess we got to have a row for Hanukkah stuff. Good <laughs> Hanukkah Gelt. <laughs> Uh, menorah, menorah, menorah. My quarter is 1993 of- <laughs> and Greg's is 1994. Why would they pick those years? I don't know. And then uh, both the Kennedy half dollars are 1972. Weird. I guess that's the last time they made them. Okay, so which one do we want to try first? Because they are different brands. They're definitely different brands. Which one do you want to try? We should try the real stuff last. Okay. Okay. Like I said, uh huh. there's no like name brand of... Hanukkah gelt. Okay. Like yeah. it's just everybody. It's like halva almost. Like okay. everybody. Uh, it just is. It just is. Okay. <laughs> we, no one knew who planted this tree. The, plant, the tree is just here. Yeah. The tree planted us. We didn't start the fire. I say we try these premium milk chocolate ones first. Which one is that? That's the shiny yellow ones, not the shiny bronzy okay, ones. Okay. So those are the ones you had. Yes. The pre- okay. So do you want to try uh, the JFK or the let's go big. GW? Okay, let's go big. big. Let's go big. All right, so uh, it's kind of a skill to open these things because you have to kind of get your thumb under the lip and then gently, without getting chocolate under your fingernails, Uh, take the other side off. You see, where else is chocolate supposed to be? You were so fast. You can spot who's actually Jewish in the crowd by how how quickly they can. Because I have years of experience frantically opening Hanukkah gelt on Hanukkah Eve. (laughs) Oh. Oh yeah! Look Ooh. on the chocolate, you yeah, see the imprint. Uh, imprint. Mine, uh, mine almost has uh, like the mesh imprint on it as well. Oh, it smells surprisingly good. It actually does smell a lot better than I was, was expecting. Yeah. It smells like a quarter. <laughs> oh, oh, sorry, half dollar. <laughs> sorry. It smells like a laundromat. <laughs> oh, yeah. So now we're trying. Uh, right, this yeah. is a JFK one of Hanukkah gout. Let's see. Mm, yep, that's that's actually bad chocolate. Yeah, actually bad chocolate. Actually, not bad. Mm. <laughs> oh, wait. You said waxy good chocolate, yeah. right? <laughs> you said waxy back chocolate, right? <laughs> it's it's so good it waxes your back. It isn't bad chocolate. It's really lacking in the flavor department. Yeah, that's what it is. The taste goes away so fast. So there's like a moment, a flash of chocolate. But even that chocolate is kind of like you're saying waxy and plastic. I, I would put it on par with like Snickers chocolate, Twix chocolate. You think this is worse than I do. Mars brand chocolate? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> no. Well, I guess I can just take my religion. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. I was wondering if we questioned a single aspect of Gal. Like, oh, no, you're anti-Semitic. <laughs> you hate all Jewish people. Yeah. I, I mean, it's it's, it's chocolate. It's, yeah. just, a, it's yeah. just a piece of chocolate. It's not the best piece of chocolate I've ever had. It's certainly not the worst piece of chocolate sure. I've ever had. It's not the worst piece of chocolate. Right? But, uh, <laughs> no, it's not the worst. It's not the worst piece of chocolate it's I have. It's your back. Good. It's really thin, but... <laughs> When you talk about something being like generic chocolate, this is the exact chocolate yeah, I think yeah, of. Just like yes. brandless chocolate. Mm-hmm. Yes, it is generic chocolate. Yeah. And it, a lo- it, it's almost more, it's more fun to open than to eat maybe. Yeah. Yeah. It, it's a quick hit of sugar. Like, it, sure. it, yeah, it's generic chocolate. It's... And to be fair, it's as bad as like the hollow bunnies. Yeah. It's as yes. bad the as the chocolate bunnies. Santas. You yeah. Know, it's, it's but just it, junky it all chocolate. depends on the brand. Like I saw, I was at Edelweiss once again in Beverly Hills. I get enough of this place for a place that you <laughs> hate going to. I don't hate going there. I hate the prices. Right. <laughs> they had Hanukkah gelt there. Ooh. And I'm sure it was really expensive, but I was kind of thinking like it, all you're doing with buying Hanukkah gelt made at a chocolate shop is you're trying that shop's chocolate. Right. Yeah. Yeah. So this isn't like, we can't say like Hanukkah Gelt's great. 
if you get it from Edelweiss, like, yeah, yeah if you get anything from a yeah. good chocolate shop, it's going to be good. Yeah. Ghirardelli needs to start making... Uh, I agree. Oh, yeah. I absolutely agree with if you. If they weren't so anti-Semitic. <laughs> <laughs> right? If they didn't keep putting those weird posts online. <laughs> if they didn't keep reposting that basketball player's <laughs> name, I don't know. I don't know. It's a documentary. But yeah, it, it all is just in who... That's why I think it's going to be kind of hard to rate. Like, we really just yeah. have to rate what we have in front of us because... It could be anything, yeah. like mm-hmm. it, doing a chocolate bunny. Like it could be a really bad brand. It could be the most high end, luxurious chocolate yeah. bunny made yeah. out of real chocolate bunnies. <laughs> um, <laughs> taste of blood. Uh, is there like a brand that's pretty recognized? The way Brock's is mm. their brand of candy corns known, or like the yeah. other one that Candy Cane has that one company that like looks jelly, like jelly. Is there a uh, Jelly Belly Spangler yeah. equivalent? Um, there, th- there's one that I would recognize the label. Okay. There's some like straights, straights. I don't know how it's pronounced. That's kind of like a big kosher candy. Okay. Mm. And you might see that sort of thing. But like I said, I went to a kosher supermarket and they did not have any. They said no Hanukkah this year. Yeah. Hanukkah's canceled. They went around. uh, They said Hanukkah Skellington is dead. (laughs) Hanukkah's canceled. Or I guess it would be Jack. Hanuk juice galling chin. <laughs> <laughs> What's this? Uh, there, there are that like I might, I would probably recognize the label, but I can't tell you what that brand yeah. is. Okay. So, so Greg, we're eating yours. Okay. Uh, where was yours made? Does it say on the label? Does it say who made it? Yeah, it does. The the company or or yeah the, yeah I'm just curious. It, I think you it's, Palmer. It's Palmer. Yeah, it's gluten free, guys. So don't worry. Oh, oh you're gluten rep. I won't get mad at you. <laughs> Yeah, it, I think it's product of Israel. Shalav Stam. I don't know what that means. Um, I don't know who has the best eyes here, but there's... <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know Greg needed reading yeah, glasses. What? Here, see if you could read it. All right. Did you guys have... Was it made in the same place, both your chocolates? Uh, let's see. Uh, let me put on my reading glasses. <laughs> <laughs> who has the worst vision? Here? Yeah, let me get rid of my microscope. This was made... Both the one I have and yours are product of Israel. It doesn't mm. say... Yours says... It just says Palmer on it. Mine says Target brands on mm. it. So I, okay. I and and what's it say under Palmer? Oh, oh, <laughs> do you have bad eyes too? Uh, it says where you can write to f- to get nutritional information. And what it's PO Box. Eat my shorts <laughs> at Suck on This, Pennsylvania, United States. Uh, uh, zip code 6969426. <laughs> With an additional six, that's the guy left out. <laughs> and one person's watching. Yeah. Um, yeah, no, it just says Palmer. It's, it's, okay. it's not more specific curious. than that. It says Reading, Pennsylvania, you can write to for the nutritional information. But right. the top ingredient in the Palmer one is sugar so this isn't it oh weird chocolate liqueur is whoa it's sugar cocoa butter chocolate liqueur but wow. yeah you're saying i should be more confident when i eat this <laughs> i'm saying don't drive home <laughs> um mine also uh does not have sugar as the f- top ingredient what about yours uh, my top three are, oh my t- i mean mine does have sugar as the oh top yeah ingredient. my top three are sugar whole milk powder unsweetened chocolate see that's Ooh, the milk thing milk powder my favorite form <laughs> yeah. of milk don't drive home tonight <laughs> I like getting a powder cow and getting all that powder milk out. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, that's like that's a powder cow mooing. <laughs> yeah, that that's kind of the thing with these is it's it's not a mixed bag. Really, it's almost literally it's, it's a mixed mesh bag, but it's uh, not quite chocolate. Mm. Like it's chocolate, I guess. But the top if the top ingredient's not chocolate, how chocolatey yeah, is yeah, it really? Yeah, yeah. yeah. So okay, let's go with the uh the golden boys from the Netherlands. Yeah, the, these are the from Fort the Netherlands. Knox. So that gives me hope because Netherlands chocolate is very good. So we're doing the gold ones from Una? The dark gold, yeah. the beautiful, the okay, beautiful the, ones. The JFK head? The attention to detail. Yeah, I'm look going at this. with the JFK one again. The these ridges. all look really good. Yeah. The eagle on the back. <laughs> Mine has like as if the Joker had a vendetta against JFK. Like oh. the JFK is wiped out and like the seal of America is wiped out on it. <laughs> it's weird. That's crazy. This one actually smells wow. less Whoa. chocolatey to me. Yeah, the the foil looks really good, but yeah. the inside not so much. It doesn't even look like a ghost. Oh, and it's like kind of white <laughs> in the middle. Where's JFK's smiley face? <laughs> yeah, it's white in the middle. Dehydrated. Yeah. Why, mine, mine is the same way. Why is that? That's kind of weird. Yeah. It doesn't smell as good. It does not smell as good. This one smells more like what you might 
typically get with Hanukkah gel. Like it's yeah. less. Of, like mm. that's why maybe I was kind of impressed with the last one is because it tasted better than normal Hanukkah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, this one has like almost a fruitiness, but like a waxy fruitiness. And you say this is dark chocolate? Uh, uh, I don't think so. Okay. I don't think we could say this is chocolate. <laughs> uh, sugar, whole milk powder, unsweetened chocolate, cocoa butter. <laughs> and dark. And dark. <laughs> okay, let's, let's try this these going ones. in. Well, hmm. fruity. Like hmm. not chocolate taste at all. Whoa. This doesn't taste like chocolate at all. No. And it's a lot thinner. Yeah, it's hmm. a lot thinner. It's got like a citrusy bite yeah. that's kind of gross. That's what it is. Yeah, citrusy. That's weird. This doesn't even taste like a half dollar. I've eaten a bunch. You no. Know. <laughs> that chocolatey taste in a half dollar. It has like a lotion aftertaste. Yes. The texture and oh. the taste is lotiony. Daniel would know. No. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> no, I wouldn't. I didn't, <laughs> eat, <laughs> I didn't eat it. I famously did not eat the lotion that was offered to me, <laughs> thinking it was candy. So these look the best, but. Yeah. Probably taste the worst. You know worst. what? Yeah. This is another Hanukkah lesson, isn't it? Um, we're just learning left and right. Yeah. Now. Where's my rabbi? I need to give him some. <laughs> I've got a, a pocket full of chocolate gals I've got to give to a rabbi. <laughs> That's not a euphemism. <laughs> is that Hanukkah gelt in your pocket or are you waiting for a rabbi? Uh, I don't understand the question. <laughs> Please leave me alone. Is there a third option? <laughs> <laughs> Please, I'm waiting for my mother. <laughs> You're not supposed to be within 500 feet of a school. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was uh, that was more along the lines of what you get on, for Hanukkah. Jeez, but I'd, I'd switch. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. my th- I might start thinking about Christmas uh, candy canes. Send me to the one with all the molesting priests. <laughs> <laughs> if I have to eat any Which more of this. Which one? <laughs> Send me to the one where the guy sucks on kids' tongues. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, I like that one. <laughs> okay, so. Finally. Now we are getting to the true oh my Hanukkah God. gelt there with the menorah on one. it. <laughs> on the first night of Hanukkah, Hanukkah, my true love gave to me. Hanukkah gelt. <laughs> <laughs> Song over, go home. Yeah. All seven nights. Yeah. Yeah. Gelt, go gelt. home. Yeah. <laughs> on the second night of Hanukkah, my true love gave to me more gelt. <laughs> it's eight nights. <laughs> That's the one thing to remember about oh, Hanukkah. You said that like the Crypt Keeper. <laughs> it's eight it's nights. Eight, eight, it's eight nights. <laughs> Eight nights of Hanukkah horror. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Helnica. Oh, damn. Ha- Hoff. Hafnica. Hacknica. <laughs> okay, so this is the true Hanukkah gout with a menorah stamped on it. So you open it up. Oh, I'm just focusing Are on you my getting finger? better at opening it since, uh, uh, since two Hanukkah gouts ago? I have a difficulty finding the opening side. <laughs> Christian, <laughs> just like a true Catholic, yeah. can't find the opening into heaven. <laughs> okay, so this one actually, the stamp is pretty good on it. Yeah, it smells chocolatey, but also a little bit of that fruitiness we were getting in the last one. I think. Yeah, yeah. this has less dehydration in the middle. Yeah, it does. Mine, mine has a cross on it. Did I do it wrong? <laughs> yeah, it smells uh, really mine's good. bleeding. Yeah. <laughs> I like the way it yeah, smells. Yeah, this one smells better, yeah. It's also thicker than the last one, which is, yeah. that, that's, it's all about thickness in Hanukkah gelt. <laughs> and you're saying this is hand soap? <laughs> yeah. Eight nights keep... of thickness. <laughs> <laughs> the gelt gets thicker every night. They really lay the gelt on thick this year. Okay, so let's try this Hanukkah gelt. All right, going in. Waxy. Yeah, waxy. Plasticky. No initial flavor. You really got to let it melt. You really got to process it in your mouth. There's almost no flavor, period. Yeah, yeah it's still not coming. Uh, see, you were surprised at me in the first one that we ate that I liked that one so much because I knew how bad the other ones were probably mm, going to be. Yeah, that was yeah. the best one. The first one was the best one. It has like a, a, a gentle sweetness at the end. I wouldn't yeah. say a chocolate, but a gentle sweetness. I agree. anti <laughs> <laughs> It's like a candy that wants to be chocolate but can't mm-hmm. legally. <laughs> kind of uh, like a Tootsie Roll. Yeah, like a... <laughs> Oh, wow, everyone's yeah. getting slapped. like a Tootsie roll. Now you're slamming his religion. Tootsie. My body's on a slap. Bullet holes everywhere. Uh, what, what, what size uh, What size uh, bullet do they get shot with and they pull out a Tootsie roll? <laughs> son of a son of a bee. Yeah, that was the... Yeah. The, it, it, it's a spectrum. Like, yeah, it there, is. There's so many... Like, it's just chocolate. Right. It's so it's it's almost as if we are rating chocolate right now, which is going to make this very hard mm-hmm. to do. But before we get into that, let's talk about where we all we where we got all these. All right. Greg, where'd you get yours? 
Um, I got mine at uh, our the Candy is Dandy Studios. <laughs> yeah, my favorite candy store. That's by the way, we should store. have a little candy. We should have a candy hall of fame, and like uh-huh. each candy we do goes in it. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and we have like a Stanley Cup, and I get to lift it finally. <laughs> finally, I get to lift the candy Stanley Cup. <laughs> we'll just call it our Reese's peanut butter cup. <laughs> yeah, the Reese's cup. <laughs> uh, I've worked my whole life for this. <laughs> Trained every day. Can I eat a little quarter? Yeah, go for it. All right, you. You no one's going to stop quarter. you. Yeah, yeah. Wait, there were no quarters. Oh, oh no. no, he's eating a real quarter. Pump his stomach. <laughs> we also need a stomach pump in the Hall of Fame. <laughs> so the one that uh, Greg provided was from Ralph's. It was $1. The one I got, the Target one, was $1.50. What about you? Oh, my God. I got mine at Michael's Yeah, because I could not find it anywhere else. Arts and Crafts? Yep. Okay. And it was- <laughs> no, the Archangel. <laughs> $1.99. Whoa. And it was the worst. Wow. Was it? I paid most for I the worst. I think it was tied for worst. <laughs> you thought, you thought, what was worse than the mine? The one we just, <laughs> <laughs> uh, the mine <laughs> was maybe worse than the yours. <laughs> I would say the last two we had were on par, but yeah, it, it's, I mean, you pay a little bit of premium for Michael's because they expect you to use those coupons. Yeah, expe- yeah. They expect you to buy those candles. Yeah. And it's actually for just crafts. You're right. They're supposed to eat it. <laughs> <laughs> These were supposed to be melted into a scrapbook. Yeah. <laughs> These were actually letter seals. <laughs> okay, so that's where we got them. So now let's write down our ratings of okay. zero to five uh, cavities, five being the greatest. Or guilt in general. Oh, he gave a four to guilt. Um, <laughs> uh, okay, so. I don't want to seem like I don't, I don't like. There's no, it's a lose lose, dude. Yeah. It's a lose a lose, lose lose. I guess we just have to average out what we had today, right? <sighs> or what, what do you think? Should, should we just go... I mean, we have a clear winner. Should we judge it on that? But that is a standout compared to what the status quo of yeah. gout Yeah, see, is. like I'd rather rate the regular kind of gout you get every year. But then it's going to be... Then it's going to make me feel bad. <laughs> oh, I didn't consider that. <laughs> when I was being impartial, I didn't consider your feelings. <laughs> Let's just rate the, uh, the our favorite one. Yeah. Okay. We'll say our favorite one. I mean, it's... And rate it. Yeah, okay. Thanks. I mean, we know what the favorite one is. All right, so let's write our scores down. Uh, man, I can't believe I ate it. <laughs> <laughs> man, yeah, man, I can't believe I liked it so much. <laughs> right, man? Man. Man? Man? Uh, I'm, I'm just going for it. There's no way to not look like an anti-Semite. Yeah, it's, it's really a trap. <laughs> this is really... You're just trying to get us on record. Yeah. How many lit menorah candles <laughs> would you give this? <laughs> Out of zero to five <laughs> menorah candles. Let's go. Let's All do right. it. Let's you, do it, boys. Are you, are you locked in, Greg? Because you're going first. Oh, yeah. Um, I respect tradition. He's drawing a swastika. I, I respect... <laughs> I just drew a little Hitler real quick. Um, <laughs> Dang it, we were so He's close. Here. <laughs> we made it months without mentioning Hitler. Hitler, Hitler. And then uh, he comes out like Beetlejuice. <laughs> hey, anybody want some Hanukkah gum? <laughs> I respect tradition. I respect culture. I respect iconography. Oh, wow. As I put here, you better though. Take note. You better say that, too. Or else you're getting a label. I won't say what that label is. <laughs> this isn't supposed to be good candy. You're just supposed to get it. It's like a candy cane. Like, yeah. it, are you yeah. expecting like this? Here's your Hanukkah present, or your Hanukkah present. What do you call them on Christmas? Christmas present. <laughs> here's your Christmas present. Yeah. It's a giant candy cane. Yeah, like yeah. it's it's, it's yeah, not it, supposed to. It's not made it's by a co- one company. It's decoration that you can it's eat. Like, uh, yeah, like much exactly. like candy corn. It's it's iconography that you can eat or whatever. Yeah. So I gave it a one point five. Interesting. Wow. It, it it like we're saying it's not the worst thing I've ever eaten. I've had like chocolate that's like a spit out chocolate. And I don't right. spit anything out. Uh, I'm, a, I'm a swallower. Um, but I, I it's just like nothing. There's nothing sent out about it. It's just like this is the the chocolate that comes in the little co- like a chocolate coin. It's a chocolate coin, and it's more decorative. It's more coin than chocolate. Yeah. <laughs> it's it's if you it's more fun. It tastes better when you've won it playing dreidel. Exactly. <laughs> there it is. Like that you can eat your winnings. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Take note, Las Vegas. And I'm sure <laughs> if you could pay my winnings in corn on the cob, that'd be great. Um, <laughs> corn? Chicken nuggets? Yeah. Corn? Corn! corn. <laughs> <laughs> All this corn starts flying. <laughs> <laughs> uh, they, they walk out a big stock to you. Um, uh, I'm sure if you didn't get... you to your room. <laughs> if you didn't get Hanukkah gout, you would feel really bad one year. If you got no gout... Oh, I, I yeah. don't know. <laughs> Yeah, you tell me. You don't get it any year. Yeah. Now that I know it exists, I'm dude, I'm okay with it. Um, <laughs> no, uh, I'm sure people feel really bad if like, oh, I didn't get any guilt this year. But like, 
getting it is the thing, but eating it's like almost secondary to like yeah, getting it, winning it, it being a decoration as part of a hol- holiday. Yeah. I disagree. You're an anti anti semi. What about you guys? Are you going to point out that I drew a certain mustache on my face? Right? Uh, yeah. <laughs> Greg's been putting uh, shoe polish <laughs> on his upper lip. What about you, Beto? <laughs> All right. Uh, so obviously, appreciate the history, yes. uh, the culture. Very good. Very good. <laughs> I like the press releases. <laughs> my agent says <laughs> we've got another apology to issue next episode. <laughs> um, I think this is more uh, an interactive. Yes. Item. Mm-hmm. This is... It's almost like a fun dip in that way. Yeah. This is like, oh, the candy cane. Let me hang it on the tree. Yes. Oh, the gelt. Let me play the dreidel and interact. Yeah. Oh, candy corn. Let me throw it in the trash. Yeah. You sound like an alien trying to fit in. <laughs> let, let me play the dreidel. <laughs> I'm here to spell, celebrate dreidel. <laughs> dreidel, dreidel, dreidel. <laughs> I made you out of blib lorb. <laughs> this is obviously a candy. It's chocolate. Yeah. But it's more like candy. a toy. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, a toy yeah, but, and a but, such price. But keeping that in mind, how many toys can you eat? Mm, exactly. Talk to my son. So it's a really good toy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> of all the toys I've had, I couldn't eat Stretch Armstrong, but I can eat. Yeah. I was thinking Stretch Armstrong is the most edible toy. Yeah. I. This is a chocolate. I ate the chocolate. <laughs> I am rating the chocolate. Yes. This is. Oh my god. A I point. did not have sexual relations with that woman. <laughs> with that chocolate. It's the same cadence you're going through right now. I give this a point seven five. <laughs> wow. Hero. Wow. <laughs> and Hero. as the first Jewish president, I am not an anti-Semite, <laughs> Daniel. <laughs> Ask not what your rabbi can do for you. <laughs> Ask what he's doing for Yom Kippur. <laughs> Uh, you both made fools of yourselves. Yeah. Uh, uh-huh. Boy, this eps- this this is the episode that gets us canceled. Why do they yeah. call this an unreleasable episode? <laughs> yeah, I don't, I don't know what we did wrong. Why does the Disney Vault exist? <laughs> um, so, yeah, we're we're in there with the Song of the South yeah. in this episode. So good company. It, yeah, I mean everything that can be said about it is said. For me, there is the ex- the added layer of nostalgia yeah. and just you know it's. As silly as this sounds, this is my culture. No, 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 it's not silly at all. What? What? (laughs) But yeah, it's not good. It's never been good, but it could be good. Like if you got the finest chocolatier in the world, it's just chocolate. You talked Mm -hmm. about Edelweiss's gal. I'm I'm kind of curious, like now that must be top tier. Day after Hanukkah, we're going there. (laughs) Discount. Nice. I'll see you in Beverly Hills. <laughs> Meet me in Beverly Hills, in Beverly the Hills. land of discounts. <laughs> the land of discounts and easy parking. Beverly Hills. Yeah, so it's the what it can be used for mm-hmm. is more important than what it tastes like, really. Sure. So I gave it a 1.5 just like Greg. Mm. I was mm. going to give it a 1, but I gave it the extra 0.5 just because of the cultural associations. You didn't want to be the, yeah. the Jew that gave it a middle score? I... You had to be like, oh, well, if Greg gave it 1.5, so do I. I didn't want to end up being the one who gave it the lowest <laughs> score, <laughs> oh. is what I was afraid of. I would have thought, like, oh, now I just, I'm just courtesy. I, now I should go back and redo my thing. If he went low, I should go low, too. Yeah. That, this is why we write it down. <laughs> but yeah, I, I think it's uh, it's not great. I mean, it's not good. I, I, I would, it's bad chocolate. But it's like I'm saying, chocolate. it doesn't need, like they're not selling this as like no, the premium, no. you know, yeah. I, you know, candy. I, I almost wish candy corn would admit that of like, this isn't meant to be good. <laughs> like this is um, just meant to be a decoration. Yeah. Yeah. Please do not ingest. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> not for human consumption. It, it has like a, a, a number on the back. If you put something in your mouth by accident. Yeah. <laughs> Call this number. 69, 69, <laughs> 69, 69, 6. <laughs> Now this guy's watching a big, a big orgy. He's a pervert. He gets around, but uh, yeah, it's it's just a you know it's a decoration. Even now, like I have, I like knowing that it what it was used for in like oh the educational aspect of it. I yeah. had no idea the I've been eating these them my whole life, and I had no idea like there's meaning behind Hanukkah. Yeah. Gelt. <laughs> okay, so now let's move on to the qualifier question. Would you be excited to get this under your menorah? <laughs> Every year, yeah, all yeah. eight nights, uh, yeah, all, all eight, eight nights, night. yeah, all eight nights. I, I would. Uh, Don't listen. put it under your menorah, though. My melt. Um, it might be better. Um, <laughs> I would not eat it if I'm at a party and it's on the table oh, and we're chatting. Yeah, yeah, I'd yeah, open yeah. one. I crack one in. It wouldn't uh-huh. taste good, but I just needed something to chew on. Here's to be, the thing: bend my nervousness. This is not even close to being the best food mm. that you're supposed to eat during Hanukkah. 
Like what, what, what is eat, the you best? You eat latkes. You eat oh, jelly donuts. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Like you eat way better food on Hanukkah than Hanukkah gilt. Is jelly donuts a thing? Yeah, jelly donuts is a thing. Yeah, yeah. You eat anything you're supposed because of the oil, everything's supposed to, everything that can be like deep fried. Right, you're supposed to eat. Oh yeah, I <laughs> that's like why this. we all go down to the county fair <laughs> on Hanukkah. <laughs> but my uh, here's a big question: Have you ever been invited over for Hanukkah? Because I've never have. Uh, I've been invited been to Passover. yeah for Passover. Passover. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, let me look through my notes. <laughs> Were you <laughs> passed over? No. Yeah. <laughs> Damn it! I mean, I I invited Greg to Passover, but he kept said, "Oh, great! I get to practice my goose step," <laughs> and, and I had to uninvite him. I'll invite my my armband. <laughs> I'll be right over. <laughs> yeah, no, no, no. You, you're never coming to my Hanukkah. Wow. I mean, to, I would you have know, loved it. I would have loved to celebrate Hanukkah. Hanukkah with isn't friends. really a. I was gonna say yeah, only in. Have? Recent in recent time has my family been like, let's get together on the first or last night of Hanukkah and have a dinner. But that's not really something you do. I thought it was not Passover. Yes, because that's like the mm-hmm. meal is the thing. But like Hanukkah, not really. Like it's mm. it's kind like more and more. I think the Christmasification of America, yeah. which don't get me started, <laughs> but uh, I started the war on Christmas. But <laughs> For shot fired. That's kind of uh, seeping. You know, it's re- it's seeping more and more into all holidays, I would assume, for sure. other religions, mm-hmm. too. But yeah, it's now more of an, you know, an excuse to get the family together. Okay. But I feel like it, it didn't used to be when I was younger. It's just, just like an excuse to why you didn't invite me? It's like it's never... Oh, we don't, <laughs> yeah, really, no, we don't a, really have people over. Yeah, no, it's a family thing, <laughs> though. It's, we keep it really intimate. And, and like even the family, we don't really like hang out or anything. Yeah. Just like don't check, don't drive by my house. Even the Gregs I'm related to don't come. <laughs> <laughs> what about you? Would you be excited to get this under your menorah? Um, yeah, reluctantly, yes. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's there. Like Greg, I'll eat it. It's yeah, there. it's there. Why not? Like Greg, it's. But there. you know, <laughs> I guess the maybe the fun part of it, I'll eat it. <laughs> is um, this new gelt might taste better. Like, yeah, it's kind of the uh, the halva exploration factor going. It on. is, but also I think you'd have a lot of fun playing dreidel with Hanukkah. Yeah, gelt. that would be dope. Yeah, yeah. that is yeah. it. As the Torah said, that'll be dope. <laughs> <laughs> would I see? So yeah, I would. Yeah, I, it's the same that you guys felt about candy canes. Like yeah. it's not so much excited of just like expected. Yeah, mm-hmm. and it's there. It's disappointed all- if it's not there. Yeah, yeah. You gonna cry? <laughs> I, <laughs> this one Hanukkah, I woke up and I. I saw mommy kissing Hanukkah. <laughs> uh, this is bringing up a lot of bad memories. Okay, so now before we we, we have our main chunk of the show done, so before mm. our game, we have a pre-game <laughs> plug. Guilt, 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 guilt. <laughs> oh, Hanukkah, Hanukkah. <laughs> uh, he drinks singing juice. Um, so this uh, pre-game plug, I'm going to say follow us on our TikTok at Candy yeah. is Dandy oh, Pod. We got one of those. For yeah. autopsies, videos, and first tastes videos because if you're only watching them on youtube it looks better yes yeah but on tiktok i'm able to use name brand music because that's how tiktok works and part of the most of the fun of doing the autopsies is picking which song goes Uh, best with each candy i I love it nice well you're saying so there's you're saying there's thought behind it um uh, oh, rude, Greg. Uh, we had a viral <laughs> smash hit. Uh, yeah, I was gonna say humble brag. That yeah. was, uh, uh, yeah. Let's just say accidentally linked to a much more popular video. <laughs> so we got a lot of views. We got periphery success. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> not even periphery. Like a, a star exploded, and we saw the light in the sky on Earth. That's what we got. A known felon named Candy is Dandy. It sounds different in, in yeah, a different I language. Know. He got shot and killed, and then everyone <laughs> search our videos and watch them. Candy by E. Standy. <laughs> <laughs> just accused of murder on Bundy Drive. But yeah, so follow us on there. Uh, you'll see fun stuff. So now Woo-hoo. it's time for our game. Hooray! This is a brand new game, and it's a game for the holiday season. Okay. This one is called My Kingdom for a Hirsch E. <laughs> wow. Uh-huh. See, I told you, we <sighs> Jewish people love... This is in the Kabbalah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so Melissa looked up holiday candy traditions from different countries around the world. Uh-huh. So on one piece of paper, she wrote down the tradition, and then we have to guess what country this tradition is from. All okay. right. So there's no multiple choice, but there are clues hidden within the traditions of where this will come from. All right. I right, yeah, yeah, got right now because thing right here. This is what I was talking <laughs> about. Listening nervously for some reason. Let me make sure that uh, I I don't miss the answer and questions up. 
You don't know the answers either, right? Oh, no, I know all of them. Oh, okay. No, I don't know the answers. <laughs> oh, but I won, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> I won yesterday when I came up with the yeah. game. I know that answer. <laughs> so the question of who won when Melissa asked me when I get home. <laughs> <laughs> you won, babe? <laughs> <laughs> you wrote it into the game. Yeah, yeah. I did. <laughs> okay. Uh, uh, let's see. Which mm. one? Oh, oh, tradition one I found to be the most fun. Let's start with that one. Okay, so tradition one. This is a, ca- a holiday candy tradition from around the world. <laughs> Whoa. A tradition called Lordos Godis. There's an umlaut on the O if that's a clue. Started in the 1950s as a government project to reduce cavities in children. To establish better tooth health, the government of this country encouraged only eating candy on Saturdays. Mm. Or this is, um, this is like Sweden. Yeah, I was thinking or one of those Norway. Or or Norway, goddess. yeah, it's one of them. I'm going to say Norway. Started in the 1950s. I'm going to say Sweden. It's a government project. Hence the candy at Ikea. Ooh. Ooh. That they only sell on Saturdays. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Reduce cavities in children. They'll have a dentist at Ikea. People don't know that. <laughs> You have to put them together. Though. You, have to, you also have to buy the, you the have to chair. make the chair, yeah. and then you you have to Frankenstein a human together. Yeah. So you say Sweden. Sweden. What do you say? Norway. I'm gonna say Finland. Then okay. we have to spread this oh, out. Nice. land. Okay. So the answer to this one is it's gonna be like Pennsylvania, yeah. the country of Pennsylvania, Sweden. All right. Okay. So Beto got a point. I'm gonna keep score. I'm gonna keep score too. Big old one yeah. right there. Look at that. Yeah, just Boom. so for for transparency, Daniel. Yeah. It's not that we don't trust you, it's that you're a liar. Well, I already <laughs> have the scores pre printed. <laughs> uh, I really appreciate you getting the wrong answer. <laughs> <laughs> well, there is a bonus round where all b- wrong answers count as double. I forgot to That's mention that. Um... But except Greg's. <laughs> Everyone but Greg's. Okay, so tradition two. People in this country offer mint humbugs to each other throughout the Christmas season, a reference to the phrase bah humbug from a Christmas carol. England. England. What country is England in? <laughs> yeah, London? Either. I think it's in London. Yeah. If it's the UK, does that count? Uh, uh, we, let's say the UK to cover more countries. I think we should pick individual <laughs> countries in the UK. Europe. But if, they, if <laughs> um, the world, <laughs> Western Hemisphere, is that a country? Let's pick individual. Con- we're all, all right, going to guess right, in the United right. Kingdom. But if it's United Kingdom, we all get a point. But I think we should guess okay. individual countries. I'll say so, England. You said England. England. Can I also pick England or... Uh, you yeah, can, you can you pick could. whatever you want. Dude. I'm going to say Scotland. You live though. in America. You're a free person. <laughs> You're a free man. And if you want to win, you can win. <laughs> wait, wait, that's not a tradition. Freedom in America? Oh, he oh, went there. Then we are one oh, of those wait, podcasts. Wait, new candy news coming in. Daniel doesn't apologize for his hot political takes. Okay, so two Englands. I'm just to be different. I'm gonna say this is Scotland. Okay, Scotland. as a fu. Yeah, as a, much like Scotland would like to do to England. Okay, so answer two is just the United Kingdom. Okay, so we, so all, we all got so all one, one, except Greg. <laughs> it was the way you said England. <laughs> you didn't do the accent I like know. he did. Okay, so tradition three. In this country, chocolate initials are given out by Sint. Sinterclogs, oh, Sinterclogs, mm-hmm. to represent the name of the recipient. Let me say this again because I'm kind of confused. Yeah, I don't know. In this country, chocolate initials are given out by Sinterclaws to represent the name of the recipient. So I guess you get chocolate in the shape of your initials. I'm like s- you would get a AS, you mm-hmm. would get a GG, right? <laughs> I game. would get a million dollars because uh, it's just different. I would get a reference. So um, the, the clue is Sinterklaas. Sinterklaas How does is that? How do you spell that? S-I-N-T-E-R-K-L-A-A-S. I'm going to say Germany. Yeah. M-O-U-S-E. M-O-U-S-E. Uh, I was going to say Germany also. Sinterklaas. Uh, I want to say Germany. It could be uh, Netherlands. Oh, Netherlands. Because they got... Oh, man. I'm gonna but this d- is such a weird thing. Like I, I feel like we would know about this if it was Germany. Me too. Because we were conquered by them in World War II, weren't we? <laughs> K-I-N-S-K-I-K-L-A-U-S. Klaus Kinski. Klaus Kinski. <laughs> you know, My gut says uh, Holland, the Netherlands, but okay. I'm just going to say Germany. Is Bavaria a country or like a town? <laughs> it's a part, uh, you mean the Schwarzwald? <laughs> it's a part of Germany. I'm going to okay. say Austria. Oh, oh yeah. Because I Austria. feel like this is a little too niche for Germany. So uh, what do you think? Are th- you saying Germany? I'm going to say Germany. 
I'll just say Holland. I don't go know. with your gut. Yeah, I'll go with my gut. Because I saw the answers. It's wrong. Oh, uh, go with your gut where all their answers are written. <laughs> don't be Jeremy. Don't be Jeremy. Okay, yeah. so let's see. The answer to this one is the Netherlands. Yes! Whoa! How does he yes! do it? Oh, my God. Wow. Are you some sort of foreign agent? <laughs> <laughs> wow, that was oh. impressive. <laughs> <laughs> the famous aha uh -huh of a Dutchman. <laughs> How do you say I am from the Netherlands? Uh, I'm, I'm getting like flashes in my brain yeah. from like YouTube videos I've seen. Yeah, yeah. It's and all, this, is, this is your slumdog millionaire. <laughs> He's thinking of different James Bond villains. <laughs> That's the one he went to Bavaria. Did Blofeld eat Hanukkah gelt? <laughs> okay, so the next one. In this country, a log called Cagatio is fed, quote unquote, during Christmas time and in return, quote unquote, poops candies and other presents traditionally nougat for children. What's what is the yeah? What is it called? Uh, it's a log. So so somebody something something. <laughs> You're eats. talking like a medium right now. So, I, I'm so getting I'm getting a little a, um, a, a and blue this. shirt. <laughs> a log called Cagatio is fed during Christmas time. Oh, so you feed this log. How do you spell? Is it Cagatio? C A T. It's not that on the nose. No. <laughs> yeah, it's the diuretic aunt is what it is. Or the diuretic uncle. C-A-G-A -A space T-I-O with a little dash on the O. Cagatio. So, so Cagatio. A Spanish-speaking country. Presumably. it's So you feed this log during Christmas time and, and then it poops candy and presents, traditionally nougat for children. So uh, yeah, it's got to be a... Sp a or Roman-speaking Portu nation. Yeah, yeah. Maybe. Caga, Caga kind of sounds Portuguese to me. Yeah. So I'm going to say this is Brazilian. Mm. I'll go with uh, the other one, Portugal. <laughs> the other one, <laughs> Little Brazil. <laughs> it's all been Eurocentric. It has been. Uh, Melissa said that most of these are Christmas related because mm. there's... It, oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, yeah, and they're Catholic. Yeah. I don't know what they are. Me neither. Are yeah, I'm pretty sure they're They're hot Catholic. as hell in Brazil. <laughs> they are. How can you be Catholic at that hot? <laughs> yeah, I'm going to say Brazil too. So Brazil, Brazil, Portugal. Okay. Oh man, it's going to be Brazil. Let's see. Let's get the answer. It is Spain. Oh, oh I should have right. just said Spain. You were close. You Spain. were the closest. Sp yeah, Cagatio. Right next door. Okay. Damn it. So, okay. So the final tradition we've got here. In this country, people decorate their Christmas trees with candy called Salon Kukor, a.k.a. parlor candy filled with jelly or marzipan. In this country, people decorate their Christmas trees with candy called Salon Kukor filled with jelly or marzipan. So that's spelled S-Z-A-L-O-N-C-U-K-R-L. K-O-R-M-O-U-S-C. I have no idea. I'm just going to say Turkey. Yeah. I'm going to say this is Poland. Can you say, read it one more time for me? In this country, people... Christmas trees in Turkey... Oh, yeah, you're That's right. That's this country that celebrates Thanksgiving. <laughs> in this country, people decorate their Christmas trees with candy called Salon Kukor, parlor candy, filled with jelly or marzipan. <laughs> now, this kind of has me thinking Austria also because of the marzipan. I don't know oh, how much... Yeah. This sounds Eastern European to me. Yeah, I don't know. But I don't know if they eat marzipan in like Poland. I'm going to go way out on the limb and pick a country that I feel like mm. I don't know enough about that might fit this. I'm going to say Estonia. I'm going Armenia. Yeah, I was thinking oh, Armenia too because of the good jelly. One. They love jelly. Yeah, I think I'm going to go with Armenia too. I was thinking that. Armenia, Armenia, Estonia. That's a great if band name. If it's Estonia, name. I'm going to get up and punch it. <laughs> yeah. Because there's that, no reason for this to be Estonia. Yeah. It's Hungary. Oh, the country that I'm eats hungry. turkey. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we did. So, Beto, you won. Woo, woo, you got woo, three. Woo, Me and Greg woo, only got one. What a cultured young man you are. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Thanks, YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, weird to YouTube videos I shouldn't be watching. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Autoplay. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, that's our Hanukkah Gelt episode. Wow. Hanukkah. So, as this comes out, mm -hmm. um, Hanukkah starts tomorrow. Happy Hanukkah, Happy everybody. Happy Hanukkah, everybody. First day of Hanukkah, Hanukkah my true love gave to me. me. Hanukkah Gelt. <laughs> <laughs> so uh yeah my true rabbi gave to me so thanks for yeah. listening to our hanukkah gelt episode i brought a little judaism into this i can't yeah. think of more explicitly jewish candies though that i could force onto you um i don't know yeah i'm not, I'm not the one yeah <laughs> I mean, whatever you put on this table, I'll eat, yeah. so I don't they, know. they call this a Milky Way, my, <laughs> one, my one reference to another candy today. So yeah, uh, have a happy Hanukkah, um, and uh, I hope your candles burn nice and bright. Oh, yeah.
dreidel, dreidel, dreidel. I made it out of love for our wow. listeners. Golem, golem, golem. <laughs> it's destroying my family's Hanukkah dinner that <laughs> nobody's invited to. <laughs> I'll see you at the next Passover dinner. Yeah, next yeah. Passover. Yeah. Uh, if, you know, yeah, if should one of us be <laughs> not the first one. Yeah. Don't bother putting Bram's blood on your door this year. Let's just say that. <laughs> <laughs> Leave your door unlocked this year. <laughs> yeah. Elijah does not want to come visit. <laughs> He's back. <laughs>